Siemens Presence Detector White. Extension unit operation via additional presence detectors and push buttons. This chapter describes two ways of coupling the presence detector with external operation. First possible application, extension with additional presence detectors. You want to cover a very large room completely with presence detectors. One detector alone is sometimes not sufficient despite a large range. Then you have to extend the range with additional presence detectors. This is basically done by the central main presence detector receiving trigger telegrams with control value 1 from the extension detectors when they detect movement. The internal overshoot timer is then re-triggered each time this occurs, thus extending the time the lighting is switched on accordingly. Let's have a look at the parameterization in the ETS. Our starting point is the configuration as shown in application video 2.1. That is, in the device settings, brightness measuring and presence detector are enabled. As switching output objects, we have A and C enabled on the presence detector page for channel A. There we can also determine which of the four sensors should be active. Whether the movement should be signaled by the built-in green LED and what sensitivity the detector should have. Make sure the function of channel A is presence detector. Variant 1. We switch to the page of channel A. The input for the extension detectors is the object movement external, which must be enabled here. Please do not confuse it with the two objects extension input on or off. Their use is described as variant 2. We look at the objects. Object 8 acts like a direct extension of the internal sensor system. It can only react to one telegrams and that as well only if the measured lux value is smaller than the set threshold value for brightness dependent presence detection. However, as long as the main presence detector has the switched on status, it is brightness independent and is thus re-triggered with each additional external telegram. Variant 2. Use of additional push buttons for semi-automatic operation. The objects extension input on or off are used for this purpose. They are used for semi-automatic operation. In comparison with object 8, external movement, the extension objects are evaluated independently of brightness. They can be used to switch on the overshoot time, extension input on, or to end it prematurely, extension input off. The extension objects act on the output objects of the presence detector. They work even if the sensor is locked. Semi-automatic means of course, basically, as already described, that the presence sensor takes over only one of the two functions, on or off, while the corresponding function is performed by push-button operation. However, the extension on object can also override brightness-dependent operation. So, if the presence detector itself does not switch on, because the set brightness threshold has been exceeded, it can still be done with the push button on the extension input. In this case, the presence detector is brightness independent, as also described under variant 1, but it would then switch off again after the overshoot time has elapsed after the last movement, if this function is also linked. The object extension input off ends the overshoot time in any case. Now, however, the presence detector can react immediately to movement and switch on again if it is set in this way. This can be prevented 
for a certain time if the dead time also affects extension parameter is enabled. Now the answer to a frequently asked question. Should the actuator also be switched when manual override is used? The answer is clearly no. The presence detector connects the automatic with the manual override and should therefore control the actuator alone. Third variant. Combination of variants 1 and 2. Because they are separate objects, both functions, the range extension and the semi-automatic with manual push-button operation for on or off can be used side by side. This was not possible with earlier devices. We have reached the end of this video again. Thanks for watching and listening. You now know why external triggering is distinguished from extension on and off and the advantages of doing so. Stay tuned.